Hi, I'm Craig Wilson from Avid. Let's take a look at how I can do subclipping in Media Central UX. Now, subclipping is one of the quickest ways that you can sift through your footage and pick out the best bits. And done well, it's a really efficient way of working through the production process. Now, creating subclips in Media Central UX, which here I'm running on, on Google Chrome, can actually be done in a variety of different ways. And we're going to show you both different methods to do it. So first of all, obviously, you know, I've got some media loaded in my media viewer. I've either searched or I've navigated through the Interplay database to, to find it. But what I want to do just now is I'm actually going to create a folder that I'm going to store my subclips in. Now, it might be that a subclip folder has already been created for you or that your production team is okay with saving your subclips into a folder that's already in the database. So if I want to create a new folder in the database, I'm simply going to right click here and I'm going to select to create a folder. So it creates a brand new folder, gives it a default name, but of course I'm going to rename it. So if I just use F2, I can go in and rename the folder and let's call this my subclips folder. Okay. So now that I've got my folder, let's actually go ahead and create some subclips. So the first method we're going to look at is using the mouse to actually go off and do this. So I've got a street scene here um, of some shots in, uh, in Vietnam. I can obviously scrub through, you know, I can play it and review the, the shot and see what uh, the video is like. But what I'm going to do just now is I'm simply going to mark an endpoint by clicking the mark in point and then mark an out point by clicking the mark out point, okay, using uh, the mouse itself. Then from the drop down menu on the media viewer, I can select that and I can see here I get the option of creating a subclip. So when I select create subclip, it opens up the Interplay database for me. I can see all the folders that I've got access to. Likely in your system, you see a lot less folders than we're looking at here. So this is going to save it at the moment into the Vietnam Rushes folder. Well, I don't want it to go in there. I want it to go into my subclips folder. So just click on the subclips folder. You see it highlights it in orange. And then I can go in and I can go and give it a name. It takes a default name, it takes the name of the clip and it adds dot sub um, at the end of it. It also adds an incremental number if you do multiple subclips from the same shot. But I want to go in and I'm going to call this one Craig Street Subclip. And then click, click here on the Create Subclip button. So that's created the subclip inside my folder. An alternative method of doing it is simply to mark in and out and then using the media viewer, simply drag and drop into the folder in the Interplay database and that will create the subclip. So we've looked at how I can use the mouse to create subclips, but I can also create subclips just by using the keyboard. It's a pretty quick way of doing it. So this time I can use I to mark an in point and O to mark an out point. So I just hit S and that brings up the dialog box where I can choose the folder in the Interplay database to save the subclip to, and I can also go and give it a name. So I just hit the tab key once and that takes you into um, the bar where I can give the clip a name. So let's go in here and say Craig Street Subclip 2. And then hit tab again, takes you to the Create Subclip button and then hit Enter. And that will go off and that will create the subclip for you.